Hi everyone, my name is Audrey and today we are back in Bohemia with Kingdom Come Deliverance. I've just been tasked to go spy on a shady character called Eric. But also, I've been promising people all around the land that I would help them. And a promise is a promise. And these are difficult times. So, we have to. We have to help everybody. <laughs> so, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today, but it's going to be fun. Let's get into it. I just remembered, Albi, that a while ago, um, some weeks ago, a lady in the woods asked me to check on her friend, Drahomira, and uh, she says her house is haunted. That's what I remember of <laughs> her request. Yeah, her house is haunted. Actually, her dead neighbor has been haunting her at night, and she can't sleep anymore. Oh, right, and she asked me to give her poppies because it would serve as an additive in the incense. So I got at least ten. Do I still have them on me, though? I... I don't think so. Yeah, no, I don't have them anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna get the poppies and... I'm going to visit yeah. her. No, no, no. Where is the path? Oh, right. This is very steep. So we have, on our right, Ratai. Well, there's puppies here. How many did I pick? Four. Four puppies. I want to check on my girlfriend Yeah. because I have a house now. That's Marigold. Poppies, give me one moment. Poppies. <gasps> A lot of poppies. Good fella. Good fella. He's like, huh? Oh. <laughs> of course. My what do you mean? No. Um, obedience, near perfection. He's a good dog. He's a very good dog. So I got my poppies. But I have to tell Teresa that I have a house now. Would she move in? It wouldn't be proper, right? Because we're not married, but I just want to flex a little bit. Hi, Teresa. Oh, yeah, let's have a, a, a wash first. I've got something for you. Again, you always you have gifts for me. But just in case. Thank you. Oh, that's nice of you. Um, I can't tell her, but listen, Teresa. When you're ready, whenever you're ready, I will be to know what I mean. She does. So, I'm going to go check on that lady in Ladesco to see if her house is really haunted or if there's something else going on. 
A bandit? Something. Doesn't see me, but I do. What's going on here? I mean, it could be a mercenary, right? He's all plated up. Good. Oh, yeah. A wayfaring knight? What is it? I'd like to challenge you to a duel, sir. Oh. A little amicable combat. Well, dear sir. What will we fight for? That sounds interesting. But what shall we fight for? Ah, so chivalry alone is not enough to tempt you. No, sir. I'm drawn to more, uh, glittering bait. <laughs> I see. Well, why not? Glittering bait. Let us make it more interesting, then. Ah, oh, we're gonna wager? I, you, I have a fine suit of armor, a horse and a sword. I want Whoa. To the horse and sword I can use, but the armor doesn't fit me well. I'll bet a piece of armor against a reasonable sum of groschen. Better be a good piece of armor. I mean, he doesn't need to know. I do have that much money. I just want to haggle. I don't have that much coin on me. You're the one who wants a wager, friend. Does he want to haggle? Ah, it's two fifty or nothing. But he's still got that armor that doesn't fit you. Ha! Well, you haven't disappointed me. I quite understand. You better be good armor. For the sake of it. I accept. All right. Why not? I'm glad to hear it. Let's get to it then. Sir, a word if you please. Yes, sir. He shall deliver the first blow. He master striked my face. Whoa. Okay. Is he stronger? What? I respect you, dear sir, but... Ow. Ow. This is not my first fight, but you are not helping at the moment. I love you, but you're not helping. Oh. On the dog! We shall pay for that, dear sir. Okay. Here. The reward you earned. And thank you. Oh. This is nice. It's not as nice as what I have, but whoa, it was worth the coin. Very happy about that. You don't need to run away. I'm honorable. Well, glad I stopped. Are you okay, Mutt? He's fine. There's the good doggy. He's happy and fine. That's my he might boy. be hungry though. Look what I've got Food? for you. You'll love this. I have nothing. Okay, let's get you something to eat. Yeah. I'll find you something in Ledechko. So where's this lady? Ah, yes, it's the butcher's wife. Drahomira? Yeah. Well, hello. Jesus Christ be praised. How may I serve you? No need to be so formal. I... I hear you're being haunted. Well, let's talk trade because I need food for mutt. And also... I hear you're being haunted. What is that about? I'm here because of the ghost. You don't look like you know a thing about ghosts. Why didn't she come herself? Why did she send someone so young instead? Do you know anything at all about exorcisms? Whoa. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I don't, but I will manage. Her back hurt, so she sent me. I don't really understand any of this, but I'll do everything I can. God in heaven. 
I could have just done it myself. Well, what's been happening? What exactly has been going on? It happens at night. Every night, now an apparition comes to me and I can't get a wink of sleep. An apparition comes to her. So she sees the ghost. Whose ghost is it? Whose ghost is it? Well, they said her his neighbor. His name was Alois and he had a farm not far from the Dechko. A few years ago, his farmhouse burned down with him in it. I've heard that people okay. who die such horrible deaths seldom rest in So peace. why is he coming to her? Yeah, why do you think he chose you to visit? Why do you think he chose you of all people? How am I supposed to know? Maybe because we're neighbors. We grew up together as children. Oh. I suppose that makes sense. Okay, so... Where is Alois buried? For the exorcism, I'll need flowers from his grave. He's laid to rest in the Sassau Cemetery by the wall. This gives me Witcher vibes a little bit. A bit overgrown with pines. I've been there a few times for a visit. The first day he appeared, I prayed at his grave, but it came again just the same. Huh, okay. I know everything well, thank I need you. To know. Then for God's sake, perform the ritual as soon as possible. Take care. And you as well. So, I'll find his grave. But first, my- come on. I have food for you. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Yeah, you can smell it, right? A chicken. So, where's the grave? Is it far? Oh, it's far. Oh, it's in the Sasau Monastery. Okay, well, um, let's go to Sasau. So we're back in Sasau. I just want to stop by the bookstore. God well, save you, the scribe. And hello, bailiff. God grant you out. How may I help you? Well, luck, dear sir, I would like a book or five of them, actually. I'm going to sell you Marathon because I read it. It was excellent. I especially love the chapter about um setting a goal for yourself and sticking to it yeah that was the best part also what is that this is your recommendation to me well thank you dear sir and what is this a book on reading i shall take this one in my basket i'll take all the books And I shall haggle you with some Grushin in the pockets. About the price. Well, we can try it. I offer you 480. Aye, for that amount, I can be persuaded. And thank you. I shall get to reading. So, where is this man's grave? I could say hi to my favorite priest. Let me just save. <laughs> Hello, Father Fabian. Listen, after that Yuanka quest, Father Fabian is dead to me. Huh? What was that? Nothing happened. So where's his grave? Ah, oh, this uh, one? I found it. Now to pick the flowers. Okay. Right. Now back to Drahamira so I can get this thing over with. Oh, she's gonna make a concoction with 
the flowers... The cemetery flowers and the poppies? Okay, well, let's go back to her. I'll go back to that lady. I just need to craft some savior schnapps at the monastery. So, I'm gonna visit Brother Nicodemus. So, it's getting late, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go sleep at the inn and I'll visit the lady in the morning. I've been brewing some potions all afternoon. them the legend of Melusine who is Melusine Melusine is a woman Knight Raymond fell in love with right huh she was a sorceress Oh, it's a love story. I love it. A great tale. And am I high level enough for this one? Yeah. I read my life away. As one should. Ah, uh, reading. And, um, I have some perk points, so... Defense. I can be a knight in shining armor. The glint of my armor dazzles everyone, so I blind them. For a charisma bonus, the more plate armor components you wear, the higher the bonus. It's not gonna help me in combat, but I do like that. Or, while worn, you're able to equip your armor, weapons, and other items so cleverly that are one-third lighter. <gasps> oh, that's... I mean... Yeah, I'll take this one. I want both of them, but I'll, I'll take this one first. Wow. And what else? Sword. So, I can learn combos, I think. Yeah. I wish I was better with combos. I'll learn this one. Reading. I have a skill in reading. Cartographer. The whole map is revealed to you. Avid reader. I think I'll take avid reader. Your level of study of the book you've read most of will advance automatically while sleeping or skipping time. Does that mean I have to read the book once and then when I pass time, my level increases? Or if I just have the book in my inventory, my level of study will advance automatically when sleeping? Hmm. Could be useful. I'll take it. What else? Hunting. I'm able to skin dead animals, but what? What is that for? Why do I need... the skin? Maybe with my new job as Master Huntsman? Could be helpful. I'll take this one. Antlers. Which enables me to get antlers from hunted animals. Not sure if I need it, but... Okay, let's sleep. So, let's go see Drahumira. Wait! I have to lock my door. Hello! Who are you? 
Oh, the fresco master. Huh? You're still staying at the inn? Yeah. So we're back at Ledechko. And I have the flowers she wanted. Not sure what for, but I have them. Hello. I'm back with the incense. Can we begin? Good. Let's go to the cross in the bedroom. I begin the smudging ritual. Whoa. Drop the herbs in? Well, what are you waiting for? I, I feel a bit out of my depth. This is my first time. It's now a little bit scary. Started. Well, get started. You've got the flowers, so it has to work. <coughs> well, here it goes. <laughs> oh, because I know Latin? Pater noster quiest in canis That's badass. Omen tuum. Are you sure you're saying that right? Shh. You mustn't be interrupted. In nominate <laughs> parties et filius et spirits et cetera. Whoa. No. I... I know my Latin now. Ave Maria gratia plenty dominatrix tecum. I think. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Are we going to see oh a Lord, ghost? may he rest in eternal peace, and may eternal light guide his way. Amen. Amen. That was badass. Thank so? you. Please, God, I can finally sleep in peace at night. Come by tomorrow to see if it worked. I will. I'm... I got an achievement. King Charming. I'm stuck in the door, but... Wow, so I'm beloved in all the homes. <gasps> Why would you have that in your house? Someone could just like get a new headpiece. I mean, I'm out of here. There are too many doors. Okay. Well, hopefully I didn't make it worse. But Henry speaking in Latin was really badass. Well, so what should we do while we wait? Is there a bandit camp I can destroy? Yeah, not too far from here. I'll take care of that. Come on, Albie. Is that someone I know? Whose horse is that? Oh, Sir Radzig. Where is he? Okay. Well. I see them. I see them. They didn't spot me just yet, but I see them. How many? Doesn't matter how many. I hear a dog. Who's there? I'm gonna run in. Stick him, mutt! He's all yours! No, doggy! I don't like fighting dogs. Fighting this close to the horse makes me nervous, sir. There you go. And your friend ran away. 
That's valid. Okay. Oh, mercy kill. Some ears, some chain mail. I'll take this. Thank you very much. A padded quaff. I'll take it. And, um... No one's coming back. Good job, Mutt. Good job. That's a good boy. Yes, you are. That's What's in here? Poison wine? Hey, who's there? <gasps> uh oh. I hear I hear a bandit. Hey, who's there? Yeah, it's me. It sounded very close, but I don't see it. Are they running away at the sight of me? Hey, who's there? What's going on there? It is me! Who's there? Sick and boy! Oh, Christ. Did he die on the spot? Wow. This is much easier <laughs> than when I started. So where was I? I need to loot that chest. Ah. Oh. Well, it is a finicky lock. There you go. There's nothing in there! Well, I practice my lockpicking. Okay. Sounds great. Can I free you? You're free to go now. Come on, Albi. Yeah. Oh yeah, and last week, I became Master Huntsman of Tolmberg. Which is something. So I want to check on Tolmberg and see what my responsibilities are as Master Huntsman. I could report in. And then the next day we could check on that lady. Yeah, I'll go to Tolmberg. Yeah. Ah, hello, Sir Divish. I'm looking for your Chamberlain. Greetings, good night. How may I serve you? Well, I'm reporting in for duty. God save, Master Chamberlain. Here I am. Hmm. So I see. And what do you want from me? I'm the new Master Huntsman. Well? I was told to report to you. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. He uh, didn't that know. That whole business with Nicholas was, how shall I put it, rather unfortunate. Well, yes, we can I say that, but it turned out well. Of an old man. Now, to your new duties. You're to supply the castle kitchen with game and protect the woods from poachers. Although, there shouldn't be too many of those now. No, I expect not. And when yeah, shall I, I took start? care of that. Right away. Sir Divish is planning to hold a banquet soon and he wants venison oh. for it. All right, I'll get going venison? right away. Uh, by the way, the master huntsman should get a hunting bow and appropriate livery. You'll find everything in the lodge. I which have is all also I need. yours for as long as you hold the office. I see. That's good news. Yes, yes. Nothing but good news. Run <laughs> along now. See you later. And thank you, dear sir. That was some lovely small talk. So I have to bring red deer meat. I suspected I would need to hunt. It doesn't say where to find it. Ninety... 90 pieces of venison that's one 
heck of a feast. Well, okay, I'm sure I can find a real hunting spot, like here. Yeah. So, let's hunt. I have some downtime. Yeah. I'm gonna find them the best venison they'll ever have the pleasure to eat. Yeah. I am Master Huntsman in these parts. And I shall live up to the reputation. I'm doing this so that Teresa and I can one day live together and have a home. And maybe some some little Henry's and small little Teresa's. It shall be cute. And I dream of that one day. Yeah. Was this a good strategy? I I was following this, and this is not where I have to go. Yeah. Hello, cows! I'm one with nature today. Yeah. I have to hunt. So let's hunt. I know nothing of hunting. So no clue if 3 p.m. is the right moment, is the right time to hunt deer. What's that? This is not a tree. Not sure. So this whole area is supposed to be rich in venison, but I see cows. As a master huntsman, I know where to look. I don't see any row. The land is not fertile at this moment. An accident. Someone had a tumble. Oh. This is nothing. Oh. Ah. Some cracklings. Is that popcorn? An unknown potion? I'm gonna go back to the house. I'm not finding any... Anything, actually. Hmm. And maybe it's gonna be easier to hunt in the morning because... Maybe the rows are sleeping at this time. I'm not sure. Seems late to be hunting. We'll go at the crack of dawn. Yeah. So, it's the next morning, and it's my first day on the job. Yeah. Technically. So let's see if those deers will be coming out. I don't see any deers. Come on, the lords want to feast. Oh, I see them. I see them. <gasps> well, hello! Okay. 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 I see what we're doing here. They are just prancing about. Are you kidding me? Okay. I got one. Great. 
So I only needed one. Well, perfect. I'll put it on Albi so that it doesn't spoil. Unless it can spoil. But I found venison, so come on, we have to go to the Chamberlain. Yeah. I'm full of meat. Uh, I'm not sure I should say that, Ow. but... Hello, Stable Master. I'm looking for the Chamberlain. Oh, wait. Um... Is he in his quarters? This door doesn't open. The hell was that? It was nothing. Ah, I think he's here. Right? Yeah. Hi, sir. God save you. And may he save you as well. I have game. I that game. Hmm. Good, good. I like what he's wearing. There you go. Prime ribs for your feast. Hmm. Here's your reward. Well, thank you, dear I have sir. Another task for you. A hair feast is being prepared. Go and get some game for it. Another well. feast. God be with you. And thank you for that. I'll do it. I promise. But... I'll go check on that lady. Well, hello, Sir Divish. I'll go check on that lady and her ghost. And hopefully everything went well. I have venison for you. Where's Votava? Votava? Who wants some venison? Prime ribs. It goes well with some barbecue sauce and some mustard. Hello. Well. Nobody wants some meat. No matter. Let's go see that lady. Maybe she's gonna take the venison yeah. off me. So, did it work? The smudging, as we call it. And? Have you slept? So, did it work? Is your home free of the ghost? Oh, you're here, are you? You're lucky I didn't have to get you myself. No, it didn't work. The spirit came just the same as before, and I didn't sleep So a it wink. didn't work. So you're saying I won't get my reward? You get paid for results, my dear, and I <sighs> haven't seen any yet. At least now I know that... I'm not a priest! Go and see Apothecary Koniash in Rattan. I hear he's familiar with all manner of magic. Really? He's a charlatan? Offer her a sleeping potion? I don't think I have any on me. Hmm. I'll go see... I'll go see Fine. him. I'll go and see the apothecary. Hopefully we'll come up with something that works. Poor lady, she can't sleep. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, I have meat for you. And thank you. Okay, I have to go in Ratai. See the apothecary. The herbalist. Well, no, it's not the same thing. Okay. I'll check it out. Yeah. They're making me run around the land.
Maybe he's gonna recommend a sleeping potion for her because... She needs that or she needs a priest. I don't know what's going on. The apothecary. He knows in all sorts of magic. Why was she being so casual about it? Some people get burned at the stake for, well, for less than that. Do Hello, you know sir. about getting rid of wandering souls? The restless dead? I might know a bit about that. It depends Do you who know? wants to know. I wouldn't want to be accused of heresy. Exactly, exactly. Well, I want to ask for your help. Come now, Konyash. You helped me once before, so I'd like to ask you for something again. Fine. You're right, Henry. I won't lie to you. I'm interested in occult teachings and a bit of alchemy. It's far I more didn't realize this could be tales. dangerous for Henry. I truly believe it's a science. So what exactly do really? you need? To help a village woman from Ledechko. Her neighbor's ghost has been haunting her. He visits her every night. You don't say. <laughs> now this is interesting. Revenant spectral beings, cursed souls from beyond the grave. Yes, exactly. Her house is haunted. To put it vulgarly, my lad, to put it vulgarly. But there are spells He's a that banish the souls back to the realm of the beyond. Now that's what I wanted to hear. And do you know the spells? Well, I'd like to learn at least one. But the only book I know that contains them has been classified amongst the Libri Prohibiti. I've no uh -oh. idea what that means. The spells written I in do. a forbidden book. A book that's in Latin and kept under lock and key in the monastery. Oh no. It's called Liber de Mortuis. Oh no, I'm having flashbacks. Do you need to know any more? The Necrom... I came across that book. I came across that book. When I was visiting the monastery, you could say that. I want nothing to do with this. Well, what should? Well, I mean, I could borrow it. Steal the book. What if is he you asking me? Get rid me? of that revenant. You have no other choice. When you bring me that book, oh no! We can cast the spell together, since you don't know Latin. What if I give her a sleeping potion? Listen, it's going to be hard to infiltrate the monastery. I'll bring the book, or I won't steal from the monastery. What if I say I won't steal from the monastery? I won't steal from the monastery. Is my quest going to fail? Wish. If you change your mind, you'll find the book somewhere in the library of the Sassau Monastery. Yeah, then I know where to look. Me. I could go at night, borrow the book. I can't believe it. I have to go back. How far should I go? What if I give her a sleeping potion? Albi? Do you have something on you? What do you have on you? See? Lazarus. No, that's not it. What is it called again? Lullaby, I think. Lullaby potion. <clears throat> Hello again. God save you. Yes. Um, listen. I shall buy this from you. And I'm going to check in with that lady. See if she would accept a lullaby potion. Something tells me it's too easy. But I'll try. Yeah. I'll try. And if it doesn't work, I'll go back to the monastery. But... Am I going to be able to get in? After what I've done in there. It was bad. It was bad. If you haven't watched my monastery episodes... Yeah. Drahomira. Poor lady. She can't sleep. I wish Henry would say 
Let me... I don't know. Try to catch that... Not catch the spirit, but... I wish you would spend the night and see... What is up with that spirit? What is she talking Jesus about? Christ be praised. How well, may I serve you? I do have... Oh, I don't have the option anymore. So I have to get that book? I know exactly where that book is. I remember vividly in which... Armoire in which cabinet this book is. I can tell you that right now. But we're about to commit a crime. A crime of the spiritual nature. But it's to help someone in need. I don't even know if I can go back in the monastery after what happened in there. Yeah. To be honest. I'm gonna have to sneak in. I can't believe it. I barely escaped the monastery and now... I'm gonna go right back in. Listen, they don't yeah. even need that book, right? They're keeping it under lock and key. So... They shouldn't miss it. Is that door still open? Okay. Albie! I'm scared. I don't think I should go in the monastery with weapons. Could they confiscate what I have? I don't know if they have authority over me anymore. But I don't want to risk it. See? I'm pretty respectable. Okay. If I get arrested... Well, hopefully I won't. There's no point going in there during the day. Because the library where the book is, it's guarded. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go at night and we're just gonna borrow that book. We're just gonna borrow it. I'm hungry. I spent so much time in the monastery. I remember exactly where it is, that book. Don't even worry about it. Oh, right. I don't have a torch anymore. It's very dark. I might want to bring a torch, at least. Is this considered a weapon? Possibly. Okay, Mutt. You wait here, okay? I don't think you can come in. It's right there. It's right there. It's not locked anymore. Ah, oh, even better. This one. This is the forbidden book. Well, that was easy. I'm PTSD from that place. You don't understand! If you've never played this, and you don't know about the monastery quest, listen! I am PTSD, okay? Okay, we're out, we have the book. I'm gonna put my equipment back on. I can't believe how easy that was. There you go. 
There you go. I can I sleep here? Yeah, I could sleep here. Just quickly. We'll be gone in the morning. I'm gonna bring the book to the apothecary in Ratai. What would he do with that? Yeah. I thought the Latin incantation would have worked for some reason. Even though Henry, I don't know how he would know about exorcisms, but it sounded legit. To me, this is going a bit far. Stealing a book from the monastery. You could say I've done worse. You could. You could say that. Sure. And you'd probably be right. But I'm always trying to be a good Henry. What do you mean? Anyway. Sir? Listen. Really? You're a fine fellow. Well, show me it then. Here it is. Wonderful. This better be good. Come back in a little while. I need to read through it and find that spell. And here's a reward for your efforts. For Russian. What's my reward? Well, thank you for that. A small tip for the road, as we say. Is there a soup? Yes, I know where. Let's get some soup, Alby. So what should I do while I wait? I could maybe help the charlatan. He asked me to... get all these weird relics. What was it for? They're just miraculous things and bubbles. He has to stock up now and again, and he needs my help. This is the Supernatural episode for sure. <laughs> the game is so realistic. It's kind of funny to be doing these types of quests. Um, what do I have to do? Miracles while you wait. Well, perfect. I This is perfect for my downtime. I have to acquire layman Procopius Procopius's tooth. Well, let's go back to Sasau. Yeah. He wants a tooth, a branch, and a cat's paw. Where am I going to find that? I'm not hurting a cat. And I didn't see any cat around. I saw dogs and horses and piggies and chickens, but not cats. So. The cat's paw. Oh, right. Some guy had it at the tavern. Would he give it to me? Hello! A gambler. God's blessings. But what can I do for you? Well... I've heard... You must be that lucky fellow everyone's talking about. Lady Luck has been good to me lately, true enough. But that can change quicker than you know. People say that you get help from a lucky charm. Is that not allowed? No, it is. It just interests me, that's all. Why? Because I want it. 
I can buy it. I can beat up the man. Or let's play for it. Let's play for it. He's a gambler. I'd like to try that luck of yours. Let's play for your talisman. <laughs> As you wish. My talisman against your grocer. Okay. Sure. There'd be no point in it otherwise. Yeah. Let's have a little challenge. And I have my lucky dice. Two of them. You're fame for CG. But you won't get the better of me. If you say so. Ooh. This is nice. What about this, dear sir? Score and pass. That won't happen again. Joey? You have lucky dice too? Oh! <gasps> Stop! This is too much! <laughs> it seems my luck still holds. Another game. Another oh, game. Let's, do, let's it. do it. That's gonna be tough. What do you mean? Okay. So, bring it on. Let's try this again. Um. Score and roll again. Not bad. Not bad. Do not do this to me. <gasps> You're a tough cookie, sir. One, two, three. Hmm. Score. Score and roll again. Come on, dice. Score and roll again. Ah, oh, come on. It's time I had a throw. There you go, sir. See? I beat you. Well, seems my luck's run out. Damn it. See you now, lass. I reckon that cat's paw don't bring luck anymore. Exactly. Not for you, anyway. So, thanks for the game. No, I don't like having a cat's paw on me. Okay. And now, what should I do? I still have to get the tooth and the branch. So, let's get the tooth. Yeah. It's past the bridge. Yeah. Is it here? Yeah. looking for a branch what type of branch is it on someone or on you <gasps> Procopius what can I do for you 
Your tooth must hurt. Doesn't look good. What? It's what on him. Your tooth. But it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? Um, I thought the tooth was just some tooth from St. Procopius. Ah, oh. but it's in his mouth. <laughs> How did I mess that up? I heard you complaining about it. What do you mean, sir? I overheard you in the tavern yesterday. If I were you, I'd let the blacksmith pull it. Why? Well, I knew a man once who was in the same situation as you. His tooth was sore, and he was frightened to have it pulled. And what happened to him? Who? In the end, half his jaw almost fell out. Henry! So I wouldn't underestimate it. <sighs> but, but I can't go to the blacksmith. I am afraid. I don't mind admitting it. You know what? I'll go with you and make sure you get out of there alive. You don't have to be embarrassed. Every man oh in the world my gosh, of a dentist I know, but even in the medieval so... times. Let's go then and get this over with. It would be so scary. Let's go see the blacksmith for your tooth problem, sir. Can you imagine? Don't worry. He'll just take his hammer. And be gentle with it. Jesus, it's going to be really painful, isn't it? Don't worry. It will hurt a little. I have to encourage him. Needs. You'll see. And if you say It'll so. hurt a little? He'll bash your tooth in. What do you mean? He'll just take his pincers. Grab that tooth and yank it. Gently. <laughs> Be careful, you're gonna step in. Oh. Well. Hmm. Am I gonna have to witness that though? The teeth pulling, I mean. I don't know. Isn't that a waste of time? Maybe it'll go away on its own. It won't. It won't. Are you mad? It won't go away. It'll just get worse. The sooner we get it out, the better. Yes, yes, you're right. I can understand the guy not wanting to go. He's just gonna grab that rotten tooth and pull it. It's no biggie. I can't. It's embarrassing. I'm a coward and I won't be able to handle it. You will. We're almost there. Just be a man about it. You're right. Let's go. All right. Let's do it. Hold him tight. No. Let's do it. <laughs> ah, look. <laughs> it's out. Well, he did it quick. It a memento? I love it. This? Oh. All right. <laughs> Ew, a bloody tooth. Yuck. It's his molar. <laughs> well. And um there's one more relic I need to get. It's a branch of some kind. Get a branch from the topping out? What is a topping out? Poor guy in that tooth. People are afraid to go to the dentist now. Imagine then. Yeah. So what's here? A branch from the topping out? Huh? There's a branch here! 
Is that... There's something that looks like a branch up there. What? Parkour? Since when? I don't have the right gloves on. Yeah. Well, there's a chest here. The view up there, though, must be beautiful. Well, maybe not that. This does not look safe. Let me tell you. Whoa. I don't want to fall to my death. So, why is there a fancy branch here? Someone tell me. Why? How can I get to it? Do I have to shoot at it? With me bow? Well, something fell down. <laughs> what? Why would they put a branch there? With ribbons. Someone better not take my branch. It's mine. Peace. So, huh. so I have everything. All three relics: a tooth, a branch, and a cat's paw. I'll humor this charlatan. Yeah. I wouldn't mind. Having a relic picked by Henry. I'd be honored. Yeah. So. Where is the charlatan? Ah. Uh, in the tavern? Well, I'm back. I am back, charlatan. The ravens told me you were coming. Sure. Sure. It wasn't my flashy armor or, or anything. I'm looking for the remains of St. Procopius. That's for another quest. I didn't find them when I was in the monastery. I'm looking for a piece of the remains of St. Procopius. Do you, does he know oh, where they yeah. are? And who would that be for? I'd like to have something... Well, it's for, for a, a friend. friend. You'd like to have something holy to treasure. 
quite a reasonable fellow. I have a piece of his finger bone. And it's from ah. St. Procopius. Well, he was definitely a good fellow. Well, at least not a bad one. And I believe his name even was Procopius. <laughs> All right, what do you want for it? How much do you sell it for? A precious piece, that one. Oh, no. It's 14 Grushen. Wait, there's a bone or bone powder of St. Thomas? The salt of St. James? I can buy a bone. It's better than stealing the guy's remains, right? When you think about it. Okay. The hey, sir. Told me you were coming. I'm flattered, but also I have your relics. I went to look for those items. All you three wanted. of them. Splendid, splendid. So show me what you got. He's so happy. I have a tooth. The tooth of Layman Procopius, which definitely isn't holy. <laughs> but then again, one day it could be. Maybe. You never know what course a man's life might take. I suppose not. But it wasn't easy to get. So if anyone's the miracle worker here, it's me. <laughs> Calm now. Don't exaggerate. I also have the cat's paw. One cat paw for luck. Wonderful. How did you obtain Holy Trinity die? I believe it. I won it from him. Oh, what does it do? No, you don't. Now the talisman won't bring its own luck anymore. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, well, luckily it's a cat's paw, so it has other uses. What for? How else would you use a cat's paw? Maybe I don't want to know. And I have a branch. branch from a blessed topping out. Excellent. And how did you get it down? I had to shoot it down. Yeah. Watch out for this man. He's a regular William Tell. <laughs> well, there wasn't any other way. <laughs> so, you've got all that sorted out. And Ooh, now, Bowman's the Brew. Next the next matter? Go on. I'm shaking with anticipation. <laughs> There's one more thing. It's rather complicated and um, delicate. What thing? What are you asking for? A shroud. A shroud? shroud? Yes. A burial shroud of someone who passed away not too long ago. You want me to take a dead person's clothes? I'm just supposed to take a dead person's clothes. Christ, no. I need a burial shroud. The precious enveloping garment in which the deceased is buried. But why? Doesn't matter who I take it, it from. I'm sure I he's going to say no. It needs to be someone who lived oh. an honest life. And I have just the fellow. A good man by the name of Lokota who recently passed on. Right. So where can I find him? His family is waiting for the funeral. For now he's lying in the small church in Sasa. I saw the man. So who and was who he? Who was this Lokota? I know only a little, but according to the locals, he was an honorable man. You should certainly try to ask around. Okay. Well. Goodbye. I'll be off. Um, so in the church, in the Sasau church, there's a man there that's about to be buried. So I'm guessing... That's who he's talking about. I cannot believe. I cannot believe. Come on, Albi. We're gonna mess with Father Fabian once again. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I mind. I could maybe get the shroud at night. Because there's two priests here. 
I mean, they have their back turned. Hmm. See? Nobody saw. Nobody saw. In and out. Easy. Easy. I'm sure they can find another cloth. Yeah. It's not exactly glorious to steal a shroud for sure, but Welcome, pilgrim. <laughs> I have the shroud. You. Lord Almighty, be quiet. Not here. You don't want everyone to see it, do you? Wait for me at my place. This is shady. Where is his dwelling? I have to wait for him at his dwelling. His dwelling is there. Huh. Okay. So, let's go see him. Yeah. A charlatan shrouded in mystery. I wonder what his house looks like. Inside, I mean. That's not creepy. You were just waiting in the dark? The ravens told me you were coming. You told me to come. Listen, I have the shroud for I you. I have the shroud for you. Have you now? Good work. Yes, well, it wasn't easy. I'm sure. That's also why... See you later. What? That's where he lives. Let's teach him a lesson. He's inside. Oh, fuck. I saw him go fuck. in. Henry. Some rioters. What? How? There's a reward for you in the trunk. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Henry's face is like, what is going on? I think the people are... Not happy about this charlatan, well, kind of lying to them, right? What What's wrong? Um, he's not here anymore. He swindled me too. I came here to throw his potions in his face, but it looks like he hasn't been home for a while. He probably ran away before Good one, Henry. could catch up with him. Bastard. Either way, he'd better not show his face in this town again. Let's go. <laughs> I'm surprised the charlatan just had a house there in the city. So now what happens here? He said there was a reward. He just ran away, the charlatan. I mean, of course this would happen. He's a peddler. Ooh, a dress. Could be a nice gift for Teresa. Oh, I think that's what he was talking about. Whoa, I'll take that. This could be helpful. I mean... I don't need a bludgeon. Well, great. Happy I could help. Can I sleep there? I mean, I could borrow the bed. 
it's just for the night. I'll sleep. Oh yeah, and I found a Holy Trinity die. A blessed playing die consecrated to the Holy Trinity in the hope of falling on three. Huh. <laughs> For now, I'll go back to Ratai and see if that apothecary figured out the spell. <laughs> These are some funny quests. So I have to wait until that apothecary reads that spell. Is there any progress? Have you read it already? Oh, Henry, it's a marvelous book. Oh. Wonderful, really. I've found what we need, but it won't be easy. The spell must be said over the grave of the person preventing his soul from resting in eternal peace, while burning something from the house he lived in. Who said meddling with the dead would be a walk in a rose garden? So, You'll probably have who? to ask your widow a few more questions. Once you know everything, get something from his house and find the grave of the person that's preventing him from resting in peace. Then come see me, and we'll get to banishing that ghost. Wow. Jesus, and I thought the living were troublesome. This gives me Witcher vibes so much. So who would be saying ill of that man? I have to go back to Drahomira. Okay, well, back to Ledechko. Come on, mutt. Yeah. Hello, Bath Mama. I am back. With a pungent smell, it seems. Jesus Christ be praised. How may I serve you? I'm. I would like a wash. I'd like to. Uh, you know, the usual. Bath. And my clothes need washing. A good I'm scrubbing. Sure be extremely satisfied. And thank you for that. All better. Now. Very important. I have a gift for Teresa. A green dress. That I definitely did not steal. Hey, lad. I've got something for you. I know this but is your I do gift. too. It is indeed. I brought you something to wear. I brought you something to wear. Thanks, Henry. Oh, it's a lovely dress. I'll I'm glad you wear. like it. So, let's go see yeah. Drahomira. Posts baked in the temple of Jerusalem. He's there now. Well, 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 we meet again. Welcome, pilgrim. Maybe it's another charlatan. Take I shall be off. Come closer, my friend. I'm back. I saw the apothecary and he reckons that ghost of yours is quite a problem. You think I don't know that? Last night, I didn't get a wink of sleep. I lay in my bed, tossing and turning, just waiting for him to appear. And? Did he come? And did he come? For a long while, it seemed like nothing would happen. Then, towards the morning, the room grew cold as the grave. My poor heart nearly stopped beating when I heard a voice calling my name. So I fell to my knees and begged the Virgin Mary to protect me. When this is really this scaring woman? her. You must work quickly. If this goes on much longer, I'll lose my mind. I know what I What if will. it's not a ghost, though? Where did Alois live? The spell, I'll need something from the house where the spirit once lived. Where exactly did Alois live? It's north of here, to the left of the road from Ledechko. But there's not much left of it these days except it ash burned. and weeds. The farm was burned mm. to the ground with Alois inside. Oof. Really? It must have been a terrible death. 
Well, we must cast a spell. To get rid of him, we need to cast <laughs> a spell over the grave of the person who's preventing him resting in peace. I'm not sure who that person is, though. You, um... You haven't already picked out a grave site for yourself, have you? No. Henry, the truth is, I haven't told you the whole story. I'm not the one he's got unfinished business with. Well, who is it then? Really? I suggest you tell me everything. Alois had a wife. Her name was Lada, and she was a proper shrew, shrieking at him from sunrise to sunset. He never spent a single pleasant day with her. They must really? have fought like well, he dogs. Did Choose One her. Lada took a lantern and burned the whole farmhouse down with Alois inside. What? Go on. Terrifying. But go on. When Alois died, Lada lost her mind. She spent days running about the woods near Tarnberg, completely witless, until one day they found her body deep in the woods. Whoa, her that's hair was sad. All pulled out. Her face scratched up with her own fingernails. They buried her there, where they she found lost her. it. But I don't know exactly where to look. She lost him, around. and she lost it. Whoa. Okay. You don't need to know anything else. I can head off now. So, huh? I'm gonna find the grave of his wife and find something that belonged to him. Is it far? What a tale. Did she burn the house? Oh, wait. So that's the burned house. Everything burned to the ground. So where can I find something that belonged to the dead? I'll take some of these pieces of charred wood. That should do. Some charred wood? Is something else here? No. Everything's destroyed, pretty much. Huh. And what about his wife? I found two pieces of burned wood from Aloise's farm, so... Does that count for something that belonged to Aloise and his wife? No, I have to go to her grave, they said. I have to find the grave of Lada, but she was... They found her in the woods. Would they bury her near the house? I have no quest point. What do you mean I have no quest point? So we have to cast the spell over Lada's grave. I'll ask around if the locals know where it is. Huh. Yeah. It's getting late. Are you a local? You're the Miller. Hello, Miller. I can't speak with you. Well, what about here? Old Thomas, do you know something? Greetings, good night. How may I serve you? Well, I uh, I am in need of some information. There's a grave in the woods round here. Do you know how I can find it? You mean where they it's buried the that woods. mad woman? Say on some nights her ghost wanders the woods, but you'll find the grave when maybe it's her ghost the haunting the lady. Keep some way off to the right from the stream. It's hard enough to see in daylight. If it's dark, you're I'll sure to get lost. Thanks. I'm sure I'll find it. If I were you, I wouldn't go looking for it. It's not a good place. Take care. Hmm.
Well, thank you for that. Am I hungry? Yes. So I'm doing a spooky quest at night. What a timing. I need food. So let's look for that ghost. Nothing's gonna be there. Yeah. I don't think. I wouldn't really call this a path. Come on, Albie, you can do it. Whoa, this is steep. Can you climb this? Well, not climb, but... Yeah. It's dark. It's dark for sure. Okay, I I'm gonna go on foot. Ah. Ah, this it's right there. It. May she rest in peace, Lord. I found it. I... I can't do anything? Well, I'm gonna have to go in the morning. Okay. Let's, um... Let's sleep at the inn. What's here? Can I sleep here? It looks abandoned. Oh. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go back to Drahomira. Oh no, it's not Drahomira. It's the Apothecary. So I have to go back to Ratai. I'm running all over. back I have everything we need excellent in that case I'm ready to let's meet after dark at the crossroads beyond Ledesco <laughs> I'll we be have to there. go back to Ledesco well we have to do the spell so come on I'll be where is the crossroad the crossroad to Ledesco he said Way over there? Okay. I'm just wondering what are we gonna see? We're not gonna see a ghost. So, what is it gonna yeah. be? There must be an explanation. Maybe. Maybe nothing is gonna happen. Am I hungry? No. Yeah. The crossroad, he said. I passed it? Oh. Well, I'm here. And he said at night. At night. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm skeptical, but we'll see. I'm here. God be with you. And with you as well. Glad you're safe. See you later. See you in just a bit. Ah, good. You're here. Come with me. I show him where the grave is. Help, help, help. 
We're gonna cast a spell? My prediction is nothing's gonna happen. We're not gonna see anything. But I wish there would be a ghost. But I don't think so. He's cute with his little lantern. I know this is steep, but we have to push through. It's right here. Start the exorcism so we can go and get some sleep. The exorcism? <clears throat> we don't normally perform an exorcism on Ziana dead people. Zikia Kanba, Yalubara, Namtabara, Ashakbara, Gikimbara. Are those Ziana Kampa, Zikia Kanba, Yalubara, Namtabara? What's that? Go on. That's what matters. Just keep going. I think that's enough. The ghost is so scared. by now. Now let's get out of here before something worse appears. Go and see the widow tomorrow to find out if it helped. I'm going home. Thanks for the help. And stay safe. There was a sound in the woods, but could have been wolves, I guess. <gasps> oh, I heard my foot. Both my feet. Two of them. Ow. Whoa, I fell from that. <laughs> Could have been worse. So. I'm gonna check in on Drahamira in the morning. Come on, Albi. This is yeah. very strange. Well, I'm back. God's blessings. She's smiling. So we cast the spell. We cast a spell over Lada's grave. It wasn't for the faint of heart. Yeah, it was a little bit scary. Mercy. And not even that helped. It didn't what? work. Do you mean to tell me it was all for nothing? Well. Only the Lord himself can help me now. I'll need the parish priest. But why didn't you go and see him right at the start? Exactly. What would he think of me? Herbalists have always handled ghosts. But now what other choice do I have? Go and ask him what I can do. Okay. I'll go and see Fine. him. I'll go and see him. So you can stop but I swear, helping this is her. The last thing I'm doing for you. You have my gratitude. Take a few groschen for everything you've done for me so far. Once the ghost is oh, gone, you'll get more. She feels more. bad, but... God be with Okay. Me. So I have to go see Father Godwin. In Ujits. That's far. Yeah. But I'll help her. So I'm back in Ujits. Father Godwin. It's never straightforward with Father Godwin. I think I still have his manuscript. I could give it back to him. M yeah, Matthew of Yano manuscript. Well, Father Godwin. I brought the manuscript I brought you back. back that manuscript You're welcome. Already. Ah, the opus of Matthew of Yanov. I was wondering if I'd ever see it again. Thanks, of my course. son. Of course. Do you have any work for me? Well, first of all, it's a weird question, I know, There's but... There's a widow being haunted by a ghost. Can anything be done about that? A revenant. Tell me more about it. For the last few nights, her long-dead neighbor has been paying her a visit in her house. She's tried to drive him out, but neither prayer nor spells have any effect. That's why she's turning to you for help, Father. Hmm. 
In the scripture, it's written that the dead shall rise again only on the day of judgment. I suspect it may be something on the widow's own conscience that's haunting her. Do you know anything more about that? Well, she did love a married man. Do you think she... started the fire? She wouldn't do that. Well, she says it's the ghost of Alois, a farmer whose wife burned him alive in his own cottage. My, my. That would make a soul restless, all right. But I believe there must be something else that's keeping the widow from sleeping. A farmer, jealous wife. I'd ask the widow if there's not more to it. My God, uh -oh. that never occurred to me. How little you know people. Make the <laughs> widow tell you everything, you'll see. And to make amends with the deceased as well as the Lord, Tell her to erect an atonement cross. A what? You ask as if you've fallen from the stars. An atonement cross. You often see them along roads. Reminders of reconciliation yeah. and forgiven trespasses. Suggest it to the widow and see how she reacts. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Thank you for the advice. It was very helpful. I shall it pray was. for the poor woman. And I'll be grateful in turn for any donation she may decide to make to the church. Goodbye. I'm sure you will. And, um, do you have any work for me? Do you have any work that needs doing? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. Another pair of shoulders would ease my burden. I have to deal with a local witch. A witch? Really, now? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag who will stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Oh, don't tell me. How <laughs> oh, fitting. Cows are giving blood instead of milk, and babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil. She just has peculiar ideas about what's good for people. Well, a bird told me that she reminds me of someone. Women to witchery. A little bird told a little you? A bird told you, did it? You know how good people are at seeing the splinter in another's eye and not the beam in their own. In other words, someone's been gossiping. I don't want to go on a witch hunt. After what happened to Yawanka... I want to be very cautious with that. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church. So tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witchcraft. If you learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, find out all you can and deal with it. Okay, I'm going to help. Done. I'm going to talk to her. Good. Tell her Never to be careful. Fear. I'm or... a man who always pays his debts. You'll find Gertrude, the old herb woman in the woods. God be with you. Did... Is Gertrude the lady who told us about Drahomira? Is she? Maybe not. For now... I'll go see Drahomira. And then we'll see what to do with the herbalist. Yeah. Could Drahomira have burned down the house? It's possible. Maybe Lada wasn't crazy. Maybe Lada wasn't as much of a mad woman as she claims. Drahamira? You better tell me if you did something bad. Good health to you. She seems nice. She couldn't have burned the house. Seems excessive. Well, I saw the parish, I saw the parish priest. priest. And what did he tell you? Will he come and bless my house with holy water? Not quite. What haven't you been telling me? I've already told you everything. Drahamira, I will not threaten you. But tell me if something was going on between you and Eloise. I feel you haven't told me everything. Was there something between you and Eloise? I... There's no use denying it. Of course longer. there was. I was a widow and his wife, Lada. 
she wasn't the kind of woman who filled her husband's heart with joy. Well, he still stayed with her. her. And I grew close. So fornication. Oh. If that's fornication. What you want to call it. <laughs> From time to time, we took comfort in each other's arms. Bladder found out and began to make a fuss. They well, fought. it's her we husband. Oh no. You're responsible for their deaths? You bear a lot of the responsibility for Alois and Lada's deaths. Now I understand why he haunts you. <laughs> I know. She feels I've guilty thought about the same that. thing every single day since he died. Alois left two orphans. I assume his children know nothing about it. They're already adults, but you're right. They don't know anything. Do you think it would help if I told them everything? That it would bring peace to Alois and he'd stop haunting me? Oh, boy. <laughs> His choices. Should she leave the past? I mean, it's her decision. Do you think it would bring peace to Alois and he'd stop haunting me? Well, the question is, would it bring peace to her? I don't know. I I kind of want to say I don't think it's necessary. I don't know. That's a good idea or not. Should she tell them? Okay, let's reverse the situation. If this happened to me, if I was um one of Alois's children, my parents die in a fire. Caused by someone. Would I want this person to tell me? Yeah, probably. I mean, it would bring pain because I would know there was an affair going on. <laughs> I don't know. Would I prefer not knowing? They're just going about their lives. I think I'm still going to say I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary. She can do what she wants. Erect a conciliatory cross. Go to confession and everything will be all right. There's no need to dig up painful memories for other people. You're right. This is my pain to bear, not anyone else's. Here's some money. Go to the quarry and order a cross be made. I think she can do that herself. It's her atonement. Go to the quarry, order a cross be made. She's an old lady. But you know what? Maybe that pilgrimage could be good for her. You can deal with it yourself. My work is done here. The rest is up to you. Thank yeah. you, Henry. I'll never forget what you've done. For all your help, I'd like to give you this. My husband's old ring. I've no use for it. I was glad to help you. Goodbye. Poor lady, my gosh. The nerve. The nerve of calling the, the other woman a mad woman. Huh. I didn't think we would see think? it. Will he come again? I'm sure we've seen the last of him. Oh, it feels so light. I could float away at peace with the world. That's a well, peace I have yet to find. Hmm. As you've seen for yourself, shaking off the past isn't easy. Hmm. Here's a ring my husband left me. I don't even know where he got it, but it might be worth something. Take it with my gratitude. I'm glad I was able to help. Thank you. Oh. And God be with you. And with you. I hope you'll finally have peaceful dreams. Wow! Well, thank you. And peace be with you. What an interesting quest. So that's the cross. Hmm. What a lovely quest. In a sense, she's trying to atone. 
And she's the one having to live with the guilt. Wow. And this concludes this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to visit um, the lady in Ujets or the herbalist the priest was talking about. And I kind of want to see if that vicar is still in Ujets, the vicar who was visiting. So I might do that, but I'll do it in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.